Hey there, fitness enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about one of the most popular nutrition concepts out there, the PCF ratio. While most of us are aware of its importance in achieving our fitness goals, not many of us understand it. So in this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about the PCF ratio and whether the 40 to 40 20 rule is the only way to go. What is the PCF ratio? To understand the PCF ratio, let's break it down. PCF stands for protein, carbohydrates, and fats. These are the three macronutrients essential for our body's optimal functioning. The PCF ratio, therefore, indicates the percentage of each macronutrient we need to consume in our diet. The 40 to 40 20 rule. The 40 to 40 20 rule refers to the ideal ratio of macronutrients that we should consume daily with 40% of calories coming from protein, 40% from carbohydrates, and 20% from fats. This ratio, as per the fitness industry, is believed to help us lose weight, gain muscle, and maintain optimal health. Pros and Cons While the 40 to 40 20 ratio has been the go-to for fitness enthusiasts, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. While it may work for some, it may not work for others. Here are some pros and cons of the 40 to 40 20 ratio. Pros. Protein helps in muscle building and repairing tissues, making it crucial for athletes and bodybuilders. Carbohydrates fuel the body, providing energy for workouts and physical activities. Fats help in vitamin absorption, and certain fats such as omega-3 are essential for optimal health. Cons. The 40 to 40 20 ratio doesn't account for individual differences such as age, gender, weight, and activity level. For some, consuming too much protein can lead to kidney problems, while others may have difficulty in digesting and absorbing protein at such high levels. The 40% carb intake may not be suitable for individuals sensitive to carbohydrates or those with certain health conditions such as insulin resistance. Are there alternatives to the PCF ratio? Yes, the PCF ratio isn't the only way to go. Recent studies suggest that there are other macronutrient ratios that may work better for certain individuals. For example, a high-protein, low-carb diet, 40 to 30-30, may be more effective for weight loss, while a moderate-carb, high-fat diet, 20 to 30-50, may be better for a lean gain in muscle mass. In conclusion, while the 40 to 40-20 PCF ratio may work for many, it isn't the only way to go. Individual differences must be accounted for before settling on a macronutrient ratio. The key is to find what works for you, depending on your body type, goals, and lifestyle. Ensure that your diet is well-balanced, rich in nutrients, and tailored to your individual needs. We hope this video has cleared your doubts about the PCF ratio and whether it's the only way to go. To summarize, while the 40 to 40 20 ratio may have its benefits and drawbacks, there are alternative macronutrient ratios that may work better for you. Remember, there's no one correct answer to optimal nutrition. The key is to find what works for you and stick to it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.